Leo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 16th through the 22nd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. The overall energy for the reading, the Two of Swords. Uh, quite the stressful energy here. I'm not sure who it belongs to, if it's yours, if it's somebody attached to you, but we'll see. In the recent past, the Nine of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands. There's something coming towards you. There's an energy that's moving towards you. It carries quite the good stuff in, in, in there. There's love, there's attention, there's passion. There's a little bit of rejection on your side. Kind of like, no, not today or something. But I don't think it's rejection, like a conscious kind of rejection. I feel like you're not seeing it, you know, um, like you're missing it or something. Okay. In the current situation, the seven of wands, the six of wands, the moon. Ooh, there's something going on at a very, very, very deep level. Um, but you look to be feeling good. <laughs> you're like... I have no idea what it is yet, but you're like, like, yeah, like it feels good. So, okay. I, I'm curious about this one. In the uh, immediate future, the five of wands, the eight of cups, the five of cups, there is an energy of conflict that seems to be kind of increasing. So it's like, it starts off like this and who knows when it starts because it doesn't start here at this point it feels like it almost reached its peak so it's been going on for a while here this energy of conflict in a particular situation you're getting to the point of completely detaching yourself because it's like i, I can't do this anymore you know um it's not the greatest energy from what i'm seeing here in a sense of it might, it's just building you up in the place of fuck this shit, you know? But it's not looking great to deal with, even though you're at that place. You know what I mean? So, let's see. Let me see the two of swords. For the two of swords, you get the hermit, the six of pentacles, the wheel of fortune. Something is a... Uh... Huh. Something, it feels right. Like, it feels like it was off maybe for a very long time. And now it kind of switched back into place where it feels right. <laughs> but it stresses you out. It's like, not not stresses you out necessarily, but definitely places you in this um, not really knowing how to handle it now that it clicked into place, you know? So you're kind of looking at this and you're like, oh, okay, so this happened. Even though you might have wanted for this to happen for a very, to happen for a very long time, um, you're still kind of like, what? You know, so it definitely takes you by surprise. It's a great energy. It's a freaking amazing energy, but it, it take, takes you by surprise. Um, let's do the nine of wands in the recent past. The High Priest says the Eight of Cups, the Temperance card. Yeah, you seem to have been disconnected for a little bit from yourself, from your intuition. So maybe that's why, even though there was sometimes great energy moving towards you, you may have not seen it. Because again, in order to see it or feel it, you would have had to be to be connected to yourself there, to your heart, to your intuition, to all of you. So Let's do the Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. And I feel like this energy kind of hovered around you there for a little bit. And it's it's a great energy, but at some point it realizes that you're not paying attention to it. So it kind of closes down. You know what I mean? So I'm not even sure what the hell that was. If I wouldn't know any better, it, it almost looks like a missed opportunity. Um... Uh, but if that's meant to be in your life somehow, I'm sure it'll come back around at some point. Uh, for the Ace of Wands, you get the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, the Three of Swords. 
Yeah. I'm not sure if this was a um, like an opportunity for partnering up with someone uh, for a project or something. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I see a lot of drive and a lot of determination on that side when it comes in. So you might have even interacted with this energy. That doesn't mean that you saw it for what it was, you know? Um, yeah, it does shut down because you're not, you're like, no. Um, let me do the seven of wands in the current situation. You get the ace of cups, the moon, the empress. Ooh, there's you really coming into alignment with that part of you that was kind of MIA there in the past, you know, complete disconnection there for a minute. And that part of you wants to come out. It's like, okay, I need you to connect back to me, please. And there's a little bit of rejection to that, but I see you acknowledging that, okay, I need to do this. I'm not doing it for now, but the energy is definitely strong and available for you to do it. So it's kind of like a bittersweet kind of, on one hand, you're not necessarily consciously rejecting this energy, but it's still a sense of rejection over that. And on the other, you feel this energy and it feels super good. You're just not 100% aligned with it yet, you know? So let's do the six of wands, the devil, the four of swords, the death card. It, 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 um, it doesn't work like that because you're giving me a sense. Of, I, I connect to it like two minutes a day or something. You know, there's there's definitely a, giving myself some time to connect with this energy. And then I'm really feeling it for like two minutes a day or something like that. Uh, this is a longer process than two minutes a day. It's a more instilled kind of a thing where you have to feel it constantly. No matter what you do, you can go walk your dog, you can do whatever you want. That energy, you're going to feel it. It's there. That's what means to align with it. Not, hmm, tomorrow I'll take two minutes and I'll meditate. It takes you two minutes to breathe into that meditation. It's, it doesn't work like that. Again, uh, you gave me this recently. It's kind of a similar energy. I'm doing it. I'm connecting with it. Look at me connecting with myself for two minutes a day. And that's not the type of energy and connection to yourself that I'm talking about and that I'm seeing here. That's you, your higher self, tapping you on the sho shoulder, being like, lay off that resistance and be who the fuck you are kind of a deal, you know? Like, for real. Not for two minutes a day you think you're that, you know? Uh, it's a deeper energy than that. For the moon, you get the star, the two of wands, the king of swords, and you want to. That's the irony of it. You, oh my god, look at the scroll go. Digging in there. Um, the irony of it is I see you very determined to do that. <sighs> To, to align back to this energy of you feeling completely aligned with yourself, with your heart, with your intuition, with all of that. Um, <laughs> so telling me that you really want to is already telling me that you're not doing it, you know? But I already saw that because the devil is on top of that energy where you say two minutes a day. Um, okay, you want to. You really want to. It's going to happen if you want to then. For some reason, there's a little bit of resistance in the way. And I feel like that resistance comes from a part of you that you're not yet aware of. So you can't really spot it. You can't really tell why you're against this. You know, it's just coming through as an energy. Um, for the five of wands, you get the in the immediate future, you get the three of pentacles, the page of cups, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, I mean, you're showing me a partnership here where there's love, there's let's build on things, let's work on things. So everything looks good as far as this connection is concerned. It just has a little bit of conflict attached to it. And this little bit of conflict, that's the problem with it. It keeps growing. Um, I'm not sure why it's there and why it keeps growing to the point of you being like, I'm not feeling this anymore, you know, because that's where you're at with this Eight of Cups here, for which you get the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Magician. 
but you're not there yet fully but you're heading in that direction of being like nope um because you don't want to let yourself go there because you're showing me a a manifestation behind it all that you want to work on this you're not wanting to let it get you into that place of just throwing in the towel you know okay well let's do the five of cups in the immediate future you get the six of cups the queen of cups the strength card yeah this is a very important soul connection to you so even if it gets you very close to that point of abandoning ship you don't want to abandon ship ultimately because you have too much love here for the situation so you can at least try to work on things you know so that's where you're at with this with the current situation i feel like you've been in this place for a minute where you're trying to reconnect back to your true self because it's here the energy is definitely here and available for you there's a little part within you that's kind of pushing against that and that's what's not allowing you to get there but again i see the determination behind it all and i know you'll get there it's just a matter of time uh for when you get there you know fully aligned with yourself so it's definitely going to happen at some point for some of you, it may have already happened. For others, there's still a little bit of something in the way. Uh, from the universe, for you, you get the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords. Yeah, it, it almost feels like a little bit of a push and pull kind of an energy uh, for yourself personally as you go through this process. And even in the situation um, that you have definitely a, a partnership going on here, which is not doing the best. But, you know. I don't see you ultimately wanting to abandon ship. No, I don't know what's going to happen. But I kind of see how, from the universe, I kind of see how it can feel for you. Where it's a push and pull. Where some days you're going to feel very hopeful and very like, yay, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. And other days it might feel very, very heavy for you. Um, but I feel like for the most part, you're kind of trying to let things play out. Um, to kind of let the energies kind of pass through and see see where they take you also so good but uh that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye